That wasn't too bad, boys, was it? That was all right. That was all right. That was all right. Yeah, just depends on what your reference of bad and good is, really. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, some, no, Saturday afternoon, fellas, we're talking about the Gold Coast Suns versus the Melbourne Demons. I'm not quite sure where this one's being played. Have they released the fixture? Uh, and said Tassie, it's somewhere in Tassie, isn't it? Surely not Tasmania I think, again. They, I think they, want it, they wanted it to be in Tassie. That was vile. Think My other question would be... And that TB confirmed. There you go. The other question would be, does it even matter? No. Because I feel like this is, this is very quickly unfurling into the consensual cast, mm. 2.0. Mm. Gold Coast has been better. There, there's no two ways about it. The first half wow. against Brisbane, they actually pushed Brisbane. They did. And then they did what Gold Coast do. Shit the bed. Shit the bed. Melbourne is coming off a bad loss to the Dogs. They're not going to want to lose again. Just the Gold Coast, right? Gold Coast had the Doggies two weeks ago. Actually played okay. Lost by 11 points. Res- very, very respectable performance. Never never going to win the game, but no. respectable. Mm. Brisbane. First half, fantastic, mm-hmm. like really good, considerably like better than Brisbane. And mm. had Brisbane worried, had mm. sports bet worried, because I got Brisbane at a dollar seventy five. Kidding me? Yeah, of course they're going to come back. Chris <laughs> Fagan, Chris <laughs> Fagan's got the firecrackers in, at halftime, ready to rumble, shove up some yeah. asses. Number three, now they've got Melbourne. Oh, poor, poor, yeah. poor, poor. Fixturing, so, oh, fixturing bias. Getting pounded. Why don't we yeah. just hurt? Like yeah. at the start of the season, we didn't think that, but far out. That's nasty. The only real question oh. here is, can, can the Demons win 40 plus? Yes. Their scoring has been so Nah, they're going to be real nasty. Ben Brown's going to go nuts. D- Demons averaging 69 points a game <laughs> over the last six weeks. They are 18th in the comp for accuracy. Hey, what do, you, what do you boys think? It like, has been a, like a 18th serious, in the comp for accuracy. What was that number? Drop-off. What was that number? 69, yeah. dude! Yeah, nice. What do you guys yeah. think? If you had to guess what my ATAR was, and I'm no cap here, like no cap, what do you think my ATAR was? Well, 18th for accuracy, so I'll say 18. 69. Brilliant. Nice. Bang. Amazing. Do you nice. know how hard that was? I didn't actually try it. How hard I, I thought it was so funny. And mum and dad disappointed to this day. Uh, I'm not surprised. To this day, they're like, oh, is that it? Yeah, oh, but now oh. you're on a successful podcast hey, and YouTube show. That was, so my, that was my raw score. Another white boy summer reference right there. <laughs> oh, no, I've had a gut full of this, I tell you. <laughs> Suns just won't have the backline capabilities, tips to stop Brown, McDonald, Jackson, Wiedemann, whichever sort of merry-go-round combination the uh, the D's decide on. Yeah, they've been showing a bit, but I think, look, the second half is the true Suns up until this point. Demons are looking shaky. They need to bank some points to hold on to top four. They've got more to play for. I think they're going to work out whatever little sort of annoying sexual tensions they've got going on between them this week. Oh, uh, uh, Suns to get pounded. I was real disappointed with the young Alez Kamarkov. Getting a uh, getting oh, hamstring no. injury, injured yeah. for a few weeks. Hate that. Yep. My sister watches about two <laughs> AFL that. games a year. Yep. She's watching this game, and I'm like, look at this guy, Oleg Markov. Like, he's the man. Mm. Bang, yep. hamstring done. Yep, done. So, dust. She but didn't watch the rest that, of the game now. Jeremy Sharp. Oh, doesn't he look elite? I love that. He's boy. So good. And Braden Fiorini, he wants that bag chasing yeah. another contract, and he is more than earning his money right now. It's usually so. Um, but yeah, look, gotta go D's. I'm gonna say one to thirty nine because I just. I'm really worried about their ability to just, like, put teams to bed. They, demons, just, they, they, just, they, they have literally not been able to do it for, like, well over a month now. The Suns could hang around. They could. Are they, they could yeah, in trouble of not making the top four? <laughs> they're only a, a, game, they're a game and a sniff out. Sydney are coming. A lot of Brisbane are coming. I'd, I'd have to see who they're playing, who they're finishing off with playing. Well, that's the, well, just to, to be confirmed. I believe they've got Geelong. They've so, got West so, Coast in 21. So if you're going to say Geelong... They've got West Coast, the Crows. West Coast in Perth. West Coast, the Crows, and Geelong to finish the game, the round off. So with. they're not beating Geelong in their current format. They've got another. Two, they've got two wins there. I don't even West. know if they beat West Coast in Perth. They might miss out on the top four here. Sydney, yeah. Sydney, and Brisbane. If they win all the rest of their games, which is possible for both. Mm. Like if you look at this, we don't need to read it out. But if you look, Melbourne might be in real strife here. Port but, might so they got a third. They got to bank these. They're, four. They're, they are literally this doing the anti Geelong. They are dropping into the cavern. Mm. At the wrong time of the year. Geelong, Geelong peaking and uh, and Demons troughing. Yeah, troughing big time. Hate it. Uh, speaking of troughing, you pigs out there, you love a punt. Why don't you stick your snouts in this trough? I'm talking Took Miller for 30. Christian Petraka for 30. Why not? Uh, Christian yeah. Petraka for an anytime goal. Why not? He loves it. Uh, Gorn for 15 uh, against, a, uh, against a ruckless Suns. Mm-hmm. Boom, he'll have that. My man Fiorini for 25. Mm-hmm. He'll do that. He had 41 last week. He'll have 25 yep. today. And Big Jezza, Big Jezza Sharp. Big Jezza Sharp for twenty. Please. Absolutely, I like it. Please, a- please. Don't know what that's paying. There's no markets up when we're recording no. this. I'm just, I'm just vibing them. I'm just vibing them.